Hey there, Sky Watchers. This is Deborah Nutburn, science reporter for the Los Angeles Times. This Sunday, a comet the size of a mountain is going to come within 87,000 miles of Mars. You probably won't be able to see it happen for yourself, but you should still know all about it. Encounters like this happen only once every million years. The comet's official name is C2013A1, but you can call it Siding Spring for short. Its nucleus is between half a mile and five miles wide. The gas cloud or corona that surrounds its head is 12,000 miles across. Its massive tail of gas and dust is as long as the distance between Earth and the Moon, and it is going super fast. When the comet it makes its closest approach to Mars at 11.27 a.m. Pacific, it will be hurtling through space at 126,000 miles per hour. For most of the past four and a half billion years, Comet Siding Spring has been in a deep freeze out at the edge of our solar system, so the ancient materials embedded in its nucleus are still in a fairly pristine state. As the comet has flown closer to the sun, however, those frozen materials have started to sublimate, releasing ancient gases into space. Scientists want to study the outgassing of comets like Siding Spring to learn more about the dawn of our solar system. So NASA will watch the comet from space, from Mars, and here on Earth. However, at the moment of the comet's closest approach to Mars, the orbiters won't be able to see anything. That's because they'll be hiding on the other side of the planet, trying to avoid speeding dust particles. The good news is curiosity and opportunity will be turning their cameras for the Martian sky, and fingers crossed they'll get the first images of a comet from the surface of another planet. Comets are notoriously unpredictable, so scientists Scientists can't say for sure what will happen when Siding Spring approaches Mars. All of us, even the experts, will have to wait and watch. Thanks so much for listening. Happy sky watching.